Don't forget to subscribe to Panda Outdoors. Do it now. Okay, folks, so another little prepping video. Um, this is just another little shopper shopping trip uh, adding to the prepper pantry. Um, so I had a budget. Uh, the last one was £20, what I done was £15 on this one. I did go a little bit over budget, but hey ho. Um, so I will just check the receipt now what I actually spent. I spent £15 and 23 pence, okay? So I did go a little bit over budget, but I think I got quite a lot for the £15. Um, so let's get into it and I will show you what I got. So one of the first items I got was children's cowpole, so children's paracetamol, um, £3.50, it's about the same everywhere, but this goes into my medication prep, so I've got like a, a medicine pouch that has all sorts of medicines in, um, some antibiotics, kids paracetamol, adult paracetamol, ibuprofen, duh -duh, so on so on, okay, I'm building it up as I go, but just some cowpole, we're having the twins, we go through them quite a lot with them teething at the moment. So we got some cowpole. Okay, and then I got some tuna chunks. So we got some tuna chunks in with that. I like the tuna here. Bullshit, asshole. No one likes a tuna here. Yeah, well, I do. Watch out! Which is quite good. And then um, a nice bag of rice. So really, there's a meal there. Not the most fun meals in the world, but you can have tuna and rice. Um, nice meal for, for everyone. Then I just got some, made sure I got some tin vegetables. So we got some diced carrots. Um, what's this? We got meatballs in rich gravy as well. So we're good to go there. You can put that with some tin potatoes. Got some macaroni and cheese. Some mild chicken curry as well. Again, always stocking up every time I go, I always buy salt. Um, salt's got a million on uses really. One for seasoning your food. Another really good one is preserving food as well. You can preserve food with salt. We got some beans and sausage because I love beans and sausage out of a tin. Um, great for when you go camping, anything like that. Um, get up in the morning, nice little breakfast. Um, and then I got some garden peas. Got some garden peas. I got some garlic granules okay for seasoning your food as well to go in the preps and then i just got two packets of chicken noodles okay so that's what i got in my aldi hole okay so if you don't know what aldi is uh, it's a supermarket over in the uk i think it may be europe um but all of that comes to 15 pounds and 27 pence the dearest item on there was the children's cowpole but it's not a bad little haul um, that I've got just to add to the pepper pa prepper pantry. And I hope you, s if this come, this will probably come out before it, but there is a video coming out. I am actually converting uh, a room that was a, when you come through the back door, you come into a hall, but there was a wall. We've knocked through to that wall into the shed that was attached to the house. Well, I call it a shed, it used to be the coal storage. Um, we've knocked through to that and we are building a pantry um, so that's going to be a prepper pantry slash, slash utility room and yeah, I'm going to video it as I go it's not a how to video it's just me documenting my me building it from scratch myself with a little bit of help from family I'm not getting contractors in or anything like that I'm doing it all with the help of friends and family um, I'm not a tradesman I'm a tyre fitter so everything that I'm learning as I go, I'll show you. Um, as I say, it won't be a how-to video. Um, so yeah, so so far we've knocked the wall down and bricked up. There will be a video um, of that coming on very shortly. So there's just a small little video on a little haul that I got from Aldi, just to show you, if you do little and often, it does build up. My, my preps are building up quite well at the moment, and it's just off a couple of, uh, about two months of me, um, getting the food in because I started prepping a while ago but didn't really have nowhere to to store the food or anything like that but now I've got our own house this is how, why I can start on the food prepping so stay tuned I've done Lidl, I've done Aldi I will do Tesco's 
and then I'll probably go to my go-to shop of will be Asda okay that's the place where I'm more than likely go to all the time because that's the place we mostly shop it's just I have to pop the little analogy for certain things for the kids and I just run in and get them and pick up some preps while I'm there okay so stay tuned for more prepping videos please stay tuned for uh, the outdoor stuff the bushcraft stuff and the 4 before stuff as well a lot more is coming up the vehicle build will be underway for the bug out vehicle and um, we'll be starting over the next couple of months um, so stay tuned for them i've been panda thanks for watching and i'll catch you outdoors sometime take care now